I feel like you know our offense really come together well. Uh, the passing game has been great. Kirk's you know been on target. Kirk's out there. Kirk's he has a great command of the huddle. You know everybody's you know with him from the beginning, and then just to know that Kirk's on the ball and you know you know checking hots and checking out of plays, it just makes you feel comfortable to know that you can do your job and know that he's going to put the ball there. I think all week Kirk showed more command. You know we all had we all had chip on our shoulder, and Kirk you know he's, he's been saying all week you know. I'm I'm going I'm going Saturday. If you if you want to come with me, get on my back. And so you know he he said that before the game, during the game, and I think you know it just played out exactly how he wanted to. It, it's amazing how you can have a sophomore captain, you know, first year starter, all the pressure on him, and he's he's got a great character, and you know he's he's led this team like he was asked to do, and, and you couldn't even ask any more of him. This has been a tough season, probably the toughest season I've ever gone through on any football team I've ever played on, just as far as all the bad breaks and. Just tough losses, especially with all the preparation and the work that we've put in, and higher expectations, you know, than what we than what we have. But it is what it is. I mean, we're we're learning from it. We're becoming better football players and becoming better people through it. I said it earlier this week. Anytime you lose, it's the worst, and anytime you win, it's it's the best. And right now, we're feeling good, and we uh, we know we knew we have a three game season basically to finish here to to be in a, a bowl game, and we won the first one. We got two to go. The ball was coming off my hand pretty well, actually early. A couple of throws I made early, I wasn't coming off my hand as well, but definitely as the game wore on, felt very, felt very good about the way I was throwing the ball. But again, a quarterback simply a reflection of the team, and the offensive line was protecting very well. The tailbacks were picking up the blitzes. They were running well, creating plays when they weren't there, and the running back and the receivers were, you know, catching the ball, making plays. So again, it's just it makes my job easy. Uh, I can't say enough about Ashton's journey. He came in the same year as I did. We played each other in high school, um, got to know each other early when we first came here, redshirted together, and. He's just a great kid, great smile, great player, and obviously wasn't getting his opportunity early this season. And I told him, Ashton, the cream always rises to the top. You just keep working. And he did that, and obviously today was a good day. But I told him to stay humble and hungry. He's got plenty more good days coming. That was a great feeling right there to be able to do that on your first carry in the game. And, um, but I know as well as everybody else know, you ain't going to get them too many times, 71 yards. So, But it was a great block by the line. Everything closed down, and they blocked their butts off all day. And I uh, just had to make them look good. It was a play drawn up for the A-gap, but, you know, as a running back, we got options to bounce it or whatever. So just made the right read and just happened to be open. You know, at the time when we started the season, just felt like that um, I wasn't, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't that guy right there coming into the um, start of the season when we played Montana State. Um, I really had to work on my pass protection, and uh, I had a little fumbleitis, and um, I just had to work on those things and um, protect the ball and pick up pass protections to help our quarterback out. For the whole season, you know, we ain't been too good on goal line, and um, that goes along with the quarterback and, I mean, the uh, running backs on the old line. But um, this week during practice, you know, we made it an emphasis that when we get down on that goal line, we're going to punch it in with a run. So we just um, so we just had that um, that mind frame that when we got down there, we was going to punch it in. So. I felt real good, you know, um, came to Michigan State knowing the tradition and, and knowing how that hard the fans is and um, just me being able to get out there and just contribute to a win, that was, that was a great feeling for me. That made my day, so.